What's going on guys? I'm Charlene Madlin and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are just tuning in for the first time and never met me before, welcome. Thanks for joining. I appreciate it. For this video, we're going to be talking about something that I want to say that I was peer pressured into because of Instagram. I kept getting the ad for Il Maquillage literally like over and over and over again. And I would be like, no, I'm not going to do it. No, I'm not going to do it. No, I'm not going to do it. And then I did it. And I ended up taking the test like over a course of like three months like five or six different times because I was like, let's see if they get it right this time. Let's see if I'm the same shade. And I'm not gonna lie, one of the times that I did it with one of my friends, we both got the same shade and it was not the shade that I had originally gotten. So I'm not really sure how it's gonna work out, but I am really curious to see what's gonna happen in this video if they got it right. I am testing out the woke up like this and the Fuck, I'm flawless concealer. So I'm doing both of them. I decided if I'm gonna go big, I'm gonna go home. <laughs> I'm gonna go big, I'm gonna go home. If I'm gonna go big, go big or go home. And uh, let's jump right on. So we got the package. I have not opened this yet. So this is the first time that I'm opening it. I have no idea what to expect. Um, and it says more is more on the front. It comes in this cute little box. It says Il Maquillage New York on it. And open it, okay. How it works and how it works, one. Try the products. These products are yours to try for 14 days starting the day they were arrived, which is great because it's like when I ordered it, then all of a sudden you're rushing. And then two, love it or return it. If you love them, keep them. If you shockingly don't, then visit the website and you'll get a return label. And then we've got the concealer. Whoa, this is heavy. Wait, I have three things in here. What? What is this? Oh my God, a liner. I didn't buy this. What? Oh, okay, thank you. So we're gonna try that out too, cause why not? I got a free little gift. Let us jump in. I'm doing shade 150. I was kind of concerned because I thought it was gonna be a little bit too dark cause like the bottle itself is frosted. Dramatic pause, please. I like that. This is the color right here. Let's see. I feel, it looks pretty close, honestly. Actually, now that I see it like this, so satisfying. This is it without the wrapper. It says to apply two pumps to your entire face, jaw and neckline, blend it out with a brush or a sponge, not by hand, and then wait five minutes for your foundation to set before sh checking the shade. Don't match your to your neck or wrist. They're different tone than your face. So then like, why do we swatch? Don't we always use, I mean, I don't know. Okay. Finish your face with concealer, blush, and bronzer, and then wear for a full week to determine if it's perfect for you. So that like, don't make any rash decisions. Let's think this through. Try it for a whole week. I'm gonna just open the concealer. This is shade nine. Oh wow, this is really pretty. Right here. The, the biggest test is gonna see if it can cover my scar. Okay, and also I'm gonna open up the Il Maquillage uh, ink liner. I did not buy this. Everything, so you choose everything and it's $5 that you pay for for shipping. And, oh, it's a mystery gift. No, oh, I wonder if I get to keep that if I don't want everything. Oh, that's, oh, dang. Okay, all right, let's get started. I got my sponge here. My face is already prepped. Um, I've already moisturized it. And we're gonna do two pumps. It's a little dark. Oh, it looks a little orange too. Oh God. Okay. Oh. Mm. Use my mirror really quick because I was staring into the camera. Oh, this is orange. I don't know if I like this, guys. Okay, so first impression. Ooh. Not super happy. I'm gonna do this. <laughs> this is so orange. I look like an Oompa Loompa. Okay. It smells good. I like the smell. It doesn't feel heavy on my face at all. I don't know. This is, it's kind of looking a little blotchy. You can see this, right? It's, it looks really red. I'm not happy. And I'm really sad because I got this color literally like five times. And I was like, all right, I guess it's gotta be it. Oh, this is so disappointing. Okay, I'm gonna wait five minutes. We're gonna see. And then I'm gonna apply the concealer. I'll be back. 
five minutes later. Do you see this? Do you see the color of my face and the color of my hand? What? Okay, we're gonna do the concealer now. We're gonna see how this looks. To be honest, this looks way better than my face already. I almost wouldn't even mind just using this on my whole face. We're gonna see. This is super smooth. I also don't really like how the formula is looking on my face from the foundation. I just feel like it looks really blotchy. Oh, y'all. That's it. This is nice. I like this. You can still see my scar underneath, but it is very light. Concealer, I do love wearing. I do love Tarte Shape Tape. That is the OG concealer. It covers up my scar. The concealer helped a little bit. It's just really dark and red. This is my face right now. Um, I'm gonna finish up my face and I'm going to be back. And I'm gonna use the liner as well that they gave me. I'm gonna do it all off screen, come back and give you guys my final thoughts. Okay, so I've done my makeup, everything else, a little bit of eyeshadow, some blush, some bronzer, and my thoughts. The only two good things that have come out of this is this eyeliner, because this is amazing. 10 out of 10, I'm keeping this for like hands down. I love this. This is so good. It makes my eyes look really, really brown. And then two is this lipstick that has nothing to do with Il Maquillage because this is Stila and I will include it in the description down below so that way you guys can check it out. But outside of that, I'm not happy. I'm really disappointed, I'm really sad because I took this um, quiz, you know, like five times and I got the same color. My face looks so orange in comparison to the rest of my body. And I'm like, if it was just darker, then I can get behind that because then it's just dependent on, you know, summer, spring, the seasons, but that's not the case here. I look orange. Um, so I will be returning this and I'm really, really sad. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of the formula personally for my skin type anyways. I do have dry acne prone skin. The camera, I feel like it doesn't look that bad, but when you get really close and personal, when you're in face to face, people would look at me like the concealer, it's good. It's not my favorite. I love Tarte. You know, comparing it to Tarte and Estee Lauder, those are my two favorite concealers that I use. Those are would be more my go-to. Do I like this formula? Yeah, I think that the formula in comparison to their foundation, this would be a lot better for me and like my skin type. But the good thing that came out of this video is this eyeliner. Definitely 10 out of 10 recommend this eyeliner. It's really good. One hour later. So I've had my makeup on for about an hour and a half now and I just wanted to put a little update before I washed it off because I felt like during the video I was kind of hostile and very like aggressive. I just wanted to show that it's still very red. Um, it's kind of hard to see honestly on video, but in person you can tell how different, how much of a stark difference my chest is to my face. Like on camera, I think it looks very seamless. It looks beautiful. Overall, if you were to just base it on the video, it works. Like it, it looks phenomenal. But in person, it's a different story. And I think that's a part of it. I think that if I were to just use this as like my camera makeup, then you guys would probably be like, oh my God, you have a perfect face beat. But if I were to go out with this makeup, you guys would look at me like I'm crazy. But comparing it to my, my hand, you see how much of a stark difference it is? Like my hand is so much lighter. It's significantly lighter than the rest of my face. And that's the part of the problem that I'm, I'm having. So just want to give you guys an update on that. Sorry if I came off very aggressive in the video. Um, I'm just really sad. I had a lot of high hopes for it and I wanted to make sure that I'm giving you guys an honest review. Okay, well, on that note, till next time guys, see ya.